What's going on guys, it's Matosh here, back with another uh, Bleach video, uh, a tire list here, uh, back with another tire list video, uh, today uh, we will rank the Espadas uh, in the Bleach series, in the anime, so yeah, uh, not the manga, just the anime, so yeah, uh, let's get started with uh, the 4th Espada, Lucifer, uh, Cypher, or Cypher, or whatever you want to call them, uh, the 4th Espada, uh, in my opinion, the strongest Espada, uh, because of his second resurrection, I guess, uh, second to Etaba, uh, Aizen even didn't know that he had a second fusion, which was pretty, pretty amazing, I mean, uh, Aizen have should know that he had a second, uh, fusion, I guess, uh, but as a character overall, I think he's really cool, uh, he was, like, really cold and take actions when he, like needed to uh like how we analyze uh the opponent like when ichigo uh fought with yami uh he didn't you know uh attack him or anything he just analyzed uh ichigo uh and saw his uh potential uh attacks and stuff uh so yeah uh, it's, it's, he he said himself that Ichigo had a really high uh, spirit pressure, but it wasn't a threat against Aizen and stuff. So yeah, uh, and they had a fight against uh, Master Lord Ichigo, which was the best fight in Bleach series, I guess. Uh, one of the one for sure, which was amazing. Uh, Ichigo, uh, Ulkura clapped him in his first fusion against Ichigo. Ichigo didn't stand a chance. And then he went to his second fusion uh, and killed him. Uh, pretty easy though, but then Ichigo, I don't know how, uh, came back from life, from life, uh, and turned his best form as Lord, and yeah, clapped the Ukura, and I guess he died. So yeah, uh, but overall, I love Ukura. Uh, not my favorite Espada, but yeah, I like him, a good character. Uh, so yeah, uh, he had a fight against Grumijo too. Uh, by the way, Grumijo is my favorite Espada, uh, which was. A short fight, you know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, then we have, let's see, our second uh, Espada, yeah, let's go with Sela Sparrow, what his name is, I can't even say his name, uh, I'll put him in, uh, yeah, I'll put him in C or B, but just because, I mean, he was so intelligent and clever and smart, you know, uh, he set traps against Uryu, Ichigo, against Uryu, yeah, and Ichigo and his group, like Chad and Orihime. Uh, overall, I mean, he's not a big, you know, uh, big character in Bleach. Like, he doesn't take many actions and stuff, unlike Ulkura, but uh, he was a decent Espada, I guess, the 8th Espada. Uh, as I said, he had traps, uh, he was smart, uh, intelligent. He wasn't that strong in, you know, uh, fight, fight, but uh, he was smart. And I liked his resurrection. Uh, it was pretty cool. He had poison and stuff. Uh, when I fight against Mayuri, that wasn't a bad fight at all. It was pretty decent, you know. So, yeah. Uh, against Uryu, that was a really great fight, you know. Uryu, even though Uryu clapped him. <laughs> but yeah, it was a pretty good fight. Uh, he took some scenes, you know, in the anime, in Bleach. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Celeste Pero, to be honest, uh, but he wasn't a bad spot at all, so yeah. Uh, next, we have uh, the Six Espada. <laughs> I agree with you, clapped. <laughs> okay, I'll put him Loopy in C. I, don't, I still don't know if Loopy is a guy or a girl. Uh, I think it's a guy, but yeah. Uh, Loopy, he took some scenes in Bleach. Uh, he had t it's a I guess it's a guy with eight tentacles, I guess, uh, who fought against Toshiro, uh, like, in the beginning of the series, uh, when Toshiro, I guess, Toshiro, Rangeku, uh, clapped him together, I guess, uh, uh, and then, uh, after the battle against Toshiro, uh, they went back to Hukumondo, and then, uh, uh, Grimmijo <laughs> killed him uh, in front of Aizen's eyes, you know, which was damn cool. Uh, but yeah, I think Loopy's gay or something like that, because really, he's, when he talks, it's like, I don't know. 
uh, Ichigo. Uh, I, something like that. But yeah, uh, Lupi overall didn't have much scenes. Sadly, he died pretty soon, I guess. Uh, or pretty, uh, yeah, pretty fast in the series, in the beginning of the series. So yeah, um, actually, honestly. He didn't take much action, sadly. He, he fought against Toshiro, uh, which is a kind of meh fight, but yeah. Um, overall, uh, I, don't, I don't like Lupi that much, uh, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, um, next Espada is uh, Noitora Gilga, uh, which is one of my favorite Espadas, honestly. Uh, where do we have him? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Where did I put Noitora? Uh, Noitora, Noitora, somewhere. Um, but yeah, he was a really good Espada, for real. Uh, I think he's underrated as hell. Uh, he was for sure the str one of the strongest Espada, in my opinion. Because of that high spirit of pressure, I guess. Uh, and stuff. Um, he fought against Nell, which was a damn pretty good fight, you know. Even though he, get cla he got clapped. Uh, but uh, he his fight against uh, Zar Kempachi was amazing for real. It was so good. It was pretty even, you know. Even though yeah, Zaraki had the fight, you know. Uh, but yeah, I like his uh, resurrection when he gets his six arms. Uh, and when he screams Inore Santa Teresa, I like that he has his uh, Espada rank in his. Uh, tongue, which is cool. Uh, he has a damn high spirit of SP. Uh, his spirit pressure was so strong. Uh, and yeah, I think he's a really good character. Uh, he took pretty, yeah, some scenes. And I think he's a funny guy, you know. <laughs> How he talks to his esp uh, esp fellow Espadas, like uh, when Aizen said that uh, they shouldn't under underestimate uh, Ichigo and his, and, his and his gang. And then uh, Noitora said like they are weak. And then Halibut said, didn't you hear Aizen-sama said that he shouldn't underestimate them. And then uh, Noitora said, uh, are you scared of them? And then Halibut said, what did you say? And then yeah, Grumijo took action. And yeah, uh, without Aizen's permission. And got clapped by Aizen, Aizen's spirit pressure. So yeah, but... I love Nintora for real. Uh, I think he's a really good character. Uh, he was uh, a partner with uh, Nell, which was pretty cool from the beginning. Uh, so yeah, uh, overall a really really strong character in my opinion. Uh, definitely top three in the Spada's ranking, uh, or maybe top five. But uh, he's the fifth. I mean, I don't know. Hey, man, he's really strong. So yeah, I'll put him in A rank. I hope you guys don't have uh, any problems with that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I will put him in A. And then we have... and But should I go over that? No. I mean, he had Tesla, but yeah, it was kind of useless. So yeah, fuck it. <laughs> okay, so then we have... Uh, Grimojo Drago Jack, uh, which is the sixth Espada. Uh, and he's my favorite Espada. Uh, I will put him in S. Uh, just because he's my favorite Espada, as I said, uh, I love him. And he's the most popular Espada among these 10 or 12 Espadas. Uh, and yeah, I think Uke is second place, but yeah. Um, I like the uh, details on him. He has blue here, you know. Uh, and how his attitude is. He says he's the strongest and he says he's the king. Which makes me glad, you know, <laughs> that he thinks he's the strongest Espada and stuff. Uh, I like him as a really good, as a character, I mean, they have done him really good, even though he got clapped in some, yeah, fights, Shinji clapped him, uh, Ichigo kind of clapped him, but, you know, Grimmijo is Grimmijo, uh, how we went from a, like, um, hollow, or not, but, uh, you know, a really weak uh, being to a sixth Espada, that's amazing, you know, um, uh, yeah, uh, I like how funny he is when he fought against Ichigo as yeah laughed and clapped Rookie and Ichigo in the beginning, and then the second fight it was even, and then the third fight you won with. But uh, if we're going from the manga, you know, Grimjer is still alive, and I think he's the strongest Espada then, in my opinion, overall. But in the anime, uh, what what we have seen, Ukiura is the strongest. So yeah. Uh, 
I like uh, Grimmy Joe's uh, Resurrection. It's so cool, you know. Uh, Pantara, which is an amazing one. Uh, so cool, and yeah, I like I like his attacks and stuff. Uh, but yeah, Grimmy Joe is my favorite Espada, uh, and my second favorite character in Bleach series. Uh, you guys already know who my favorite character is uh, in Bleach, but uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I love Grimmy Joe. <laughs> oh. Okay, so uh, let's get over to the next spot, I guess. Uh, where is it? There we go. Halibel, uh, which was kind of meh. Put him in B. Put her in B. Uh, she was kind of... Mm, how should I put this? Uh, she wasn't weak at all, um, but she wasn't that strong. I didn't. I don't think she deserved to be uh, the third Espada. Grimmy Joe could could be the third Espada for real. I mean, uh, I heard to say this, but if you get clapped by Toshiro, which is one of the fuck, one was one of the weakest captains in the anime, unfortunately. But uh, he was pretty weak in the anime Toshiro for real. But uh, let's get over to uh, uh, Halibel now, my waifu. So Halibel uh, was a pretty cool character. I mean, uh, he f the fight against Toshiro was not bad. Uh, water against ice. <laughs> uh, it was a really, really even battle. Uh, and then uh, Aizen interrupted and killed her, I guess. <laughs> or not, yeah, defeated her. Um... Uh, do did she have more fights than Toshiro? Uh, I don't think so, for real. Uh, but yeah, she was a pretty decent one. Uh, but yeah, she's she doesn't deserve the rank three spot. I saw the guys, but uh, I don't think she had the strength uh, to be rank three for real. Um, the former uh, third spot is Nell. Or, yeah, both are <laughs> for this battle, but uh, Nell was really, really strong. I mean, for real, really strong. I put her in A. Uh, I did when I saw her uh, uh, being transformed to the adult form, you know, being the first spot, I got shocked, you know. Uh, out of no way, uh, nowhere against Noitora, and uh, Ichigo got clapped against Noitora, but. Uh, Nell was, she took some scenes, you know, I, I mean, she wasn't, uh, but yeah, she was definitely stronger than uh, Halibel, in my opinion, uh, and one of the strongest in Spada, for sure, uh, I, I like, I liked uh, her resurrection, uh, it was, yeah, like a horse, I guess. Uh, Halibel's was good too. It she done it. She didn't transform. Halibel's form did resurrection didn't transform that much. To be honest, she got like a new, uh, a new weapon, I guess, uh, and that was it. Uh, Nell's resurrection uh, gave her a new body, you know, uh, a four leg, a four legs like a horse, uh, as I said, uh, and clapped Nointora. Uh, but yeah, I think Noitara could have uh, win if he went to his resurrection form. But yeah, um, Nell overall, I'm uh, not a big fan of her, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I guess she has many fans, you know. Uh, she had a fight against Noitora. Uh, she had, did she have more fights? I don't think so. But yeah, uh, I would put him in A just because she was pretty strong, you know. Overall, as an Espada. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get to the next one. Let's go. To, uh, yeah, let's get to the meme one. Uh, yummy the meme. Uh, tense Espada. Zero Espada. <laughs> nah, for real. I, I think he was pretty strong. I'll put him in B. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. Give him the credit, you know. Uh, he fought against Byakuya. Uh, and Zalaki at the same time. And he put up a good fight, you know. He didn't lose that fast. Uh, but yeah, he got clapped against Ichigo. If yeah, Ichigo's whole form didn't take over, you know. But uh, Yami, uh, Ukiura's partner, I guess, uh, partner took some scenes for against Uryu, Ichigo, Zarkenpach, and Byakuya. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't have much to say about him. 
I love his resurrection, you know, he got the big tentacle thing, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, from the 10th Espada to 0 Espada out of nowhere, uh, so yeah, uh, I'll put him in B, I think he deserves that, come on guys, uh, don't be so mean to Yami, you know, 10th Espada, uh, then who, who do we have, we have more Espadas here, uh, we should have, uh, oh yeah, I've had a trash one, uh, Zumari, uh, put him in, uh, where is my ranking, I put him in D, uh, cause yeah, he really sucks, uh, I still don't know why he wasn't a spot in the first place, and why he got that 7th rank, is, uh, 7th rank, rank is spot I know, um, uh, the only thing he had was the speed, he was the fastest among them all, Sparas. uh, his resurrection wasn't, yeah, kind of cool, you know. When he fought against Biakwe, that was a pretty decent fight. He still got clapped and, yeah. Uh, wanted mercy against Biakwe. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, Azumari, overall, I hate him. I hate him in BBS, too, for real. Um, I, I won't show him some love, for real. Um, he doesn't deserve to be a spot. I am showing is stronger than him, for real. Uh, but yeah, uh, then we have uh, Baragon, second Espada, uh, which was pretty, pretty strong, if I'm going to be honest here. You think he's really underrated. Uh, I'll put him in, uh, one second guys, let me put him in A. He was second Espada, uh, I love his attacks, you know, his abilities, like uh, melt any anything, you know. He touched and stuff. Fucking Soyphone, Hachigen, and uh, what was his name? Uh, what was his name? Uh, I don't know, Omeda, yeah. Those three, uh, he kind of got, got clapped, you know, kind of. But uh, overall, I thought he was pre pretty strong, you know. Uh, some people say he's even the strongest Espada, which I... I won't say anything, you know. He was pretty strong overall. I had some scenes too. But yeah, uh, yeah, I'll put him in Baragan A. He really deserved that. So yeah, uh, and then we have Stark, which is the first Espada. Uh, who doesn't deserve uh, to be the first Espada for real. Um, I think he is overrated. Um, but yeah, uh, Stark was he took some scenes, you know. Uh, I'll put him in A just because yeah, it was pretty cool with his weapons and stuff. But um. Stark overall, uh, pretty cool Espada, uh, he had this abilities, you know, uh, he had like a sword against, he fought against Shunzui and Joshiro, which was a pretty good fight, uh, mm, and he, I love that, he, you know, he was a one person and then he shared himself to be a two persons, Leonetto and Stark, which was pretty cool, you know, uh, that was a good thing I liked about him, and he was like pretty lazy and sleep every time, which I liked, you know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I liked that he had his first rank Espada in his hand, you know. Uh, and yeah, uh, I like his setups from his uh, weapon, as I said, uh, the cool stuff, you know, <laughs> cowboy stuff. But yeah, uh, I I like Stark, you know. Uh, I'm not a big fan of him, but I don't hate him either. Uh, so yeah, I think he deserves the A place, you know, A rank place. So yeah, and then we have, um, by the way, uh, that fight against Shunzu was pretty good. Come on, guys. Shunzu is a strong captain, you know. It's not easy to beat Joshua and Shunzu at the same time. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think Stark is overrated, for real. Uh, I think, yeah, Ultkura, Grimmjo, Noitora, Nell is stronger. But yeah, this is my opinion. So yeah. And then we have Aruni, Aruna, which was... Yeah, disappointment too, as Samar, you know. Uh, he had some cool abilities, like transform to other guy, I think. He was like Cayenne uh, against Rookie, I know. That was a pretty decent fight. Uh, both are weaklings, but I guess that was a pretty good fight when Rookie was about to die. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it took many scenes in the Bleach anime. No, he died pretty, yeah, pretty fast in the beginning of the series. But... Uh, his resolution wasn't good either. It was a big thing. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, Looks like octopus or something like that. But uh, you know, when he went to his resurrection form, 
some espadas i think there was someone that say that oh is that his resurrection what a low sp or something like that yeah, there wasn't anything special about him no uh, so yeah uh, i don't like him that much like zumari i hate both uh and yeah um i guess i'm down uh with the ranking the espadas uh if i have everyone here uh do i miss anyone here uh I have Stark, I have Baragon, I have Halabel, uh, I have Ukura, I have Noitara, I have Lupi and Grimijo, uh, Halabel and Nell, I have Celespero, I, I have everyone, nice. So, this is my ranking, you know, uh, if I would put them in numbers, uh, I would have Grimijo as a strength, you know, I would put Ukura first, second place, I would put Grimijo, uh, third place, I would put Stark, uh, fourth place, I would put Noitora, Fifth place, I would put Nell, I guess. Sixth place, I would put Baragan. Uh, seventh place, I would put Halibel. Eighth place, I would put uh, Yami, for real. Uh, I'm not, I'm serious, I'm not joking. Ninth place, I would put Celesporo. Tenth place, I would put Lupi. Uh, Elfth place, I would put Arani Arana. And twelfth place, twelfth place, I would put Zomari the Trash, you know. So, yeah, this is my Espada ranking. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I wanted to go through them fast, you know. Uh, I wanted to say my opinion about the Espadas. Uh, but, yeah, um... I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is my, just my opinion. Uh, please let me know your guys' opinion in the comment section down below. I want to know your guys' rankings and stuff. Uh, and yeah, uh, don't forget to uh, like, uh, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next one. Stay blessed and peace.